Happy Halloween, Sagittarius. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your October 2022 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wanted to tell you about my necklace that I have on. It's a gift from a very dear friend of mine. It is Prianite, and whenever I wear it, I get lots of emails or questions about what it is, and it's the perfect stone for doing readings on Halloween. That's, let's go with that. And please remember, this is a general reading. <clears throat> if you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com. You can book me um, a reading with me there, or you can also book me with readings by Judy, J-U-D-I-E dot com. Please remember um, to check those out if you would, and let's see what we have for you. Oh, you also might want to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Sometimes they do connect better than just your sun sign. Wow, it looks like you're going to have reasons to celebrate. Oh, this is awesome. It's, it's, it's really good. It's, it includes more than, you know, one or two people. But it also looks like you're going to be hearing from people from the past. Now, whether those are lovers, friends, or just acquaintances, the suggestion would be let them prove themselves. You know, everyone can say, oh, I changed my ways. You know, it, uh, treat them like a new friend. That would be a good suggestion. Also, I feel like there's abundance coming for you. Also, it could be pregnancy cards. So <laughs> if you're wanting pregnancy, that's good. If not, you might want to be a little careful here. Um, wow. Ace of Wands is saying new beginnings, beginning of a journey, beginning of a family, beginning of a business, something like that. But here I feel it's like love. It, it could be, I don't know if that's an engagement or a marriage or something like that, but it looks like there's new beginnings in that area for some of you. Moon card says your intuition is right on key about things close to the heart is what I'm feeling, like in the love area with your partner, with your house, wherever. Also, messages, for some reason, are going to be really important this month. And those are written like messages in your email, your Gmail, your phone, your mailbox, that kind of thing. Make sure you check them. And it says, don't be foolish with your money this month, okay? Um, you know, sometimes we like to overspend. This just says, you have money coming, but best course of action is not to spend it till it's here yet. If that, I hope that makes sense to you. Um, wow. It says... It's like, I don't want to say an aha moment, but it's like, oh my gosh, I get the Ace of Cups. When your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing, what you think about you become, that's clicking with a lot of you. And that is so true. You know, if you believe you can, for instance, shoot a basket in the basketball, nine times out of 10, it's going to go in if you believe it. Or, you know, having money in the bank or being able to do whatever. I'm just saying whatever you focus on and, and what you believe, I, I truly believe it's going to happen. It says, holding on to love or money too tight is not a good thing. If love is meant to be, it'll be there. And with money, it says, you know, don't be a spendthrift. But if you put a, you know, a cross on your checkbook and worship that, that could not be good too. So it says, try to let it flow best you can without spending and giving it, you know, giving away the store. Wheel of Fortune says, for you, things are, have and are going to get better than um they have been in the past, especially in the love area. I feel like, you know, those of you that have been single may have finally connected with somebody that's the permanent one. Those are single, those that are single. And just an improvement in general in, in, in love is like paying a little extra attention to your spouse or your partner would be really good at this time. Those of you that are wanting to move might be the perfect month to do that uh, or, or start it. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to move this month, but it might be making plans to do that. Also, travel has been just prominent for so many signs, if not everybody, um, making plans for travel that are actually going to happen this year <laughs> or, or, you know, be put into fruition uh, or brought to fruition would be really nice. And this just says it brings joy. This card has been prominent to the sun card. Happiness is what I hear when I see it for everybody that's in, that's close to you. It says choices that are made now are going to swiftly bring changes. So if you're thinking about making travel plans, I would do that. If you're really wanting to move uh, and you have a plan, just don't, you know, buy a house that you can't fill with furniture. <laughs> you know, it'd be nothing like being married to an empty house. So it's just saying in your finances, make wise decisions. I think that you will listen um, <clears throat> to yourself. You know, you don't want to the old saying, you know, when keep up with the Joneses, it says, just do what, what is best for you. It says, 
Don't spend more than you have and you'll have no disappointments. I hope that helps you. It says, what you've learned this year has really been big. It's like you have, you know, like in your book of life, so to speak, it's like you're um, checking off things off a bucket list or things that you wanted to know. Also, it says working really hard. It says really, really, I don't know if you're working and going to school or you're working two jobs or whatever it is, but it says there's gonna be some relief there. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe you're gonna be graduating or maybe you're not gonna to have to work two jobs. I just feel like you're gonna find some time for rest, but even more important that you're gonna find some time for some real fun, uh, whether that be vacation or just sitting doing nothing. That would be a nice vacation or reading a book. But it's like you're going to say, okay, I've worked really hard for the last, you know, how many years, months, days, whatever. And you're going to take a me day. And you should take a me day. It says that it's very well, uh, it would be very well for your body, mind, and spirit for, for you to do that. And do it often. Nothing wrong with that. It's not being selfish. But, you know, and that feeling of being alone, something's happened. I don't know if you've met somebody, those that are single and you don't feel that way. Or even in your uh, marriage or your relationship, it's like a difference. There's something different where you feel like, you know, someone's got your back or they're there for you and standing up for you. And that's such a good thing. It's like a lot of... Um, uh, commotion around you like because you, you haven't taken time you need to take some time for those me days or time by yourself it would be very good for you um, and if you can do that you're going to find that um, the messages messages are coming okay now messages could be spirit messages or it could be just a feeling sometimes it's just your intuition saying you know I should do this now or I shouldn't do that now or oh forget it I'm you know you really have to figure out, is that my ego or my intuition? And it's saying here that you can do that at this time. You know, the veils are really, really thin. And I've said that with almost every reading here. So it's like your excuses are gone. It's time now to claim those things that you want and that you really do deserve. Feel like things could be falling into place for you? The next, um, the next three months are going to be like, really, you're going to see... Uh, like accomplishments or completing of things or seeing that you can complete things or things are gonna start, if not already, they're gonna be going your way. You're gonna feel like, yes, yes, I'm on the right, right track, the right path. You've been waiting a long time to make some decisions that you're doing. And remember, we can't go back and change the past just because things didn't work then. But your timing, it's like you're, you're on the right time. Things are really, you know, it's like the apprenticeship is over and I know what I want and this is how I'm going to get it. Ace of Swords says, yes, you are going to get it. Um, and sometimes, some of you have learned that because the Tower card came and things weren't the way they were supposed to be, it ended up being a blessing in disguise. I love when that happens because it, then it's easier to accept things when they're not the way we plan. Be careful not to give your power away meaning that you can negotiate even with your partner. You know, if you're if you're going out for Chinese and they want Mexican and you always say, okay, let's go for Mexican, you can negotiate, take turns, do something. And that's a small thing I'm using as an example. But it works with other stuff too. You have to be able to speak up. Don't always be the one to say, okay, let's do it your way. But I do have, um, it's like it's your time, okay? It's like your time to say, you know, I've worked really hard. I'm going to start, you know, celebrating myself. Really, you need to take, put yourself first. I've said that I don't know how many times today, and this would be a great month to start something like that, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Happy Halloween. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by to see me, and I'll see you again next month.